Dale Corner. Johnny Bo here for your daily dose of all things local. Another beautiful late spring morning, a top of 24 and partly cloudy. And just a reminder, that means no burn-offs. The local council placed a fire ban on yesterday that should continue for the remainder of the week. Fire Sergeant Mark Pacheco will be joining us soon to talk a little bit more about it. There's a new plan in place issued last week to dedicate the McKeague Forest into a protected nature reserve, making it one of the largest protected nature sites in the country, stretching hundreds of kilometers in diameter. Top news this morning, remember to head to your local Clarksdale primary for their annual spring fair. Dogs, sweets, lemonade, and prizes, what not to love. This year's earnings from the school will go towards the construction... Hey John, what's up? Hmm? No. No, of course not. Wouldn't miss it, man. Yeah, right. Good luck. As one of my initiatives, I have requested an upgrade to all our local police stations. These upgrades will include three new temporary holding cells, but this is just the beginning. I can assure you there is much more to be done. And we will continue to reshape this town into the economic hub of the wheat belt. Leading Clarksdale into a brighter future. Exciting times ahead. Thank you. Nicely done. Thanks, Henry. Right, so that should be all the talking for today. Now you have your appointment until 12. Some regulation drafts that need your signature and a new proposal for you to read. Cool, can you uh, bring that to the house? I don't feel like going into the office today. Of course. Uh, tomorrow you have uh, two meetings, a panel with the townspeople, and uh, if there's any last minute preparations you want to make, then um, you've got the option to do that too. Awesome, can you remind me again later? Absolutely. Violet would kill me if I asked her. Why am I killing you? <laughs> what? Leading Clarksdale into a brighter future. It's very sappy. <laughs> Do you want to ride my next one? No, 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 definitely not. You did great, honey. Also, I need your help with something. What's this? We have to pick a colour for the tablecloths. What's this for? I'm kidding. I didn't think you cared this much about the wedding. I don't, but we still have to give everybody an answer. Okay, well, whatever the fifth and seventh option is. You want green and mustard. We still have to give them an answer, and we only have a few weeks. Well, that's plenty of time. By then, all the guests will be invited. I would have got my suit tailored, and then we can decide on what bloody tablecloth you want. You're right. Just in time. Told you I wouldn't miss it, mate. How you doing, Will? I'm all right, Mr. Mayor. Henry. William. Hey, Will. Morning, Violet. 
Are uh, you coming with us? Oh no, I have a few errands to run while we're here. John, can you give me a call when you're done, please? We have lunch with my parents at one, remember? Yes, got it. Oh, and Henry, can you make sure the suits don't turn out a disaster for me? Sure. Okay. See you boys later then. John? One. My best friend getting married and becoming mayor in the same month. It's been a busy couple of months. Plus, being mayor means a whole lot more responsibility. Barely gonna have time for ourselves. Hey, Henry. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Makes me think I ought to get my life together, you know? I'd love to move up in the force. Hmm. Maybe John can put in a good word for you when you have dinner with the sergeant next week. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'd appreciate it. Although, I don't think you have the power to let me pass my detective's exam if I ever get to sit it. Uh, are you coming to the party tomorrow? Oh, of course. What time is it? Ah, uh, six. I'll be there at seven. Do you ever get bored of your job? Hmm? I mean, like, whatever we do, whatever we find, it just gets handed over to the ones above us. Oh, like the sergeant? Yeah, him and the detectives. Why not just ask for a promotion or try something different? You think I haven't tried? Boss man won't even look at my papers. Just reminds me of how much he hates paperwork and then won't let me convince him. Yeah, he's like that sometimes. Yeah. I mean, I've been working for the force for years now, but I can't... Control 3, we have some reports of loud bangs in your area. Can you guys go check it out? Copy that, we're on our way. I hope it's gunshots. I hope it's gunshots. Yeah, just firecrackers. Thanks, Ben. Hey, these are still hot. Oh, you think the culprit's nearby? <sighs> Shut up. I'm just trying to do my job. Plus, these are illegal, you know. We have a fire ban on. This could set this entire place alight. Yeah, they look pretty harmless to me. Whoa, don't you have a bag? Oh, relax. You touched it though. Whatever. Who knows, maybe the mayor will think we did it. Shut up. Speaking of which, uh, doesn't he have that big party tonight? Oh yeah, that should be fun. Are you going? Yeah, I uh, probably should. Me and him go way back. That's so sick that you're mates with him.
Ah, Jeff, William, when did you get here? Just now, actually. What a turnout. Yeah, it is. I mean, who would turn down a night of free drinks? Uh, Marcus is here. It's only fair. You know, friends close, enemies closer. Must be pretty bummed about losing the election, though. Nah, he's a good sport. He's all right. Hey, hey, John. Hey, John, where do you keep your really good stuff? Uh, Will. You remember my brother Chris, right? It's been a while, mate. So, uh, what do you do, Will? Oh, I'm a police officer for it. Who's that bird over there, huh? Oh, that's Yelena. She's, uh, incredible. I'm gonna go work my magic. <laughs> Charming. Yeah, that's Chris. John, can you come here a moment, please? That's fine. Hey, I'll speak to you later. Have a good night. Enjoy yourself. Oh, and remind me later. I got this bottle of single malt. I'm gonna crack open later. Blanco is just fine. Uh, how are you this evening? Fine. Good. And um, tell me, uh, have you known Jonathan for very long? Yeah, we've known each other for a few years. Interesting. And has he always been so charismatic? What are you trying to get from me? <laughs> oh, nothing. I'm just wondering why the people of the town think that Jonathan would make a better candidate. Ah, so you're uh, still shitty about the election? Oh, spare me that, William. You haven't half the understanding of what goes on in the world of politics. Besides, it's not like Jonathan being in charge is going to ruin any of my businesses. Right. Whatever you say. Friends, family, colleagues, thank you for joining me in my home tonight to celebrate my new position as mayor. You'd think I'd be better at giving speeches by now, but, you know, considering. But, uh, got these just in case. I'd like to properly thank a few people, firstly, otherwise I'll get in trouble, to my fiancé. My everything, my teammate, Violet. I couldn't have done it without you. I'd also like to say thanks to Henry, my loyal butler, assistant, and colleague. And also my brother, Chris. Always down for a party. Not too hard though, mate. Cops are here. And Mark, Mr. Blanco. I feel like you deserve a congratulations as well. It was a good fight, a good run. I'll gladly have a drink with you later. And Will, my best mate. No, you practically my whole life. I can always rely on you. And thank you to everyone who has traveled out here tonight to celebrate with me. Please, eat, drink, enjoy. Mm. Have a good night. Nathan. Good to see you, mate. Will. Nathan, I thought you were on a new deployment. I didn't think you were going to make it to the wedding. Oh, I got some time off, you know. Can you assist? When did you get back? I just this afternoon, you know. Oh, hi, Nathan. Violet. Hi. Um, I'm coming to see. Shit. Here, you can keep this. Oh, hey, thanks. Hey, sorry about him. Oh, uh, it's no trouble. I'll shut this. Hey, thanks for coming tonight. Yeah, no problem, man. Okay, bye Nathan, drive safe. Oh, there you are. I'll take that off you. Sorry about him. He's a bit of a mess sometimes. Um, actually, I have been meaning to talk to you. Um, John's in the line right now. You know, politics can get a bit messy. And I was just wondering if you could keep an eye on him for me, just make sure he keeps out of trouble and all that. 
Yeah, of course. I mean, you didn't even need to ask. Thanks, Will. I appreciate it. Anyway, I'll sort this out. Um, enjoy yourself. I'll, I'll see you later sometime. Thank you. Police! Clarksdale Police! John?
Hey, Henry. How you going, Will? Yeah, all right, I suppose. It's not your fault, you know, Will. He made his choice. There's nothing he could have done. I mean, you know him, Henry. This isn't like John. New, New. but... I mean, they've concluded the investigation. Yeah, as a suicide case. Why would he kill himself so painfully, so spontaneously, especially with the life he had? It's unexpected, that's for sure. You know, if me, you and Violet, if we don't know why he did this, do we even really know him? There is something happening here more than what people have just accepted. Maybe that's just how it should stay then. Accepted, that is. Listen. What I'm trying to say is that being completely fine from the party, just so upset he kills himself, Something happened. Someone said something. Someone did something. I heard a vase smash upstairs. Um, whoever smashed it was long gone, but um, all that was left over was the vase. Hmm. Oh, of course. We should probably go over there. On a lift, mate. Nah, it's all right. I can walk. Nah, come on. It's gonna start raining soon, anyways. You all right? Anyway, thanks for the lift. Yeah, hey, before you go. Do you remember anything about the other night? Uh, sure. Why? Oh, it's just, you were quite intoxicated. I just want to make sure everything's okay. Oh, you're a copper. Your investigation and all that. Yeah, well? When I arrived, it was already pretty busy. Oh, yeah. I went to talk to that, um, um... Yellow yeah, knight. That's the one. Yeah. Did it go well? Not my type. Anyway, I went upstairs. Gets a bit foggy after that. Was there anything upstairs at all? I saw John. In his office. Doing something. Was he alone? Yeah, yeah he was. And after that, spend the rest of the night on the toilet. Yeah. Not my proudest moment. I haven't projected out like that since. Uh, you're fine. Thank you. Uh, anything else? I just remember waking up on the toilet. That's a still sore. Right. So you spend most of your time stumbling around with your head in a toilet. You went upstairs, you passed me, you saw John. It would have been after he gave me the shirt. And then you went into the hallway and broke the vase. Vase? Don't remember any vase being broken. No? I think I would have remembered that. John suit's pretty expensive. Anyway, thanks for the lift. Uh, yeah.
Emma. <clears throat> I got you this. Thanks, ma'am. Yeah. I thought it was a, a bit big, but... No, it's nice. You know, we, uh, we found those firecracker kids. Oh, yeah? Mm, they were the twins from Johnston Street. Really? Mm. We didn't charge them, though. We just told their parents. And we've had a few break-ins reported. Sarge thinks they could be connected. Will, can you come into my office, please? Yeah, well, that sounds like fun, but uh, I don't think I'm going to get the case. It could be fun. Will, take a seat. I want you to take a few weeks off. Look, you're overdue. You've had a stressful few weeks. Wait, hang on, Sergeant. We, I got... I don't, I don't want to hear it. To be honest with you, I could use a break from your enthusiasm. All of us could. Did we at least talk to the people? The John's investigation's over, Will. Everyone's happy with it being ruled suicide, except for you. Well, not happy, but you know what I mean. Sir, Beth also said there's someone in her house again. She wants to speak to you. Right, right. Look, you'll thank me later. No, you can, you can go. Beth, well, what's happened today, love? Hey Chris, can I get another one please mate? Thank you. Ah, <sighs> uh, there you go. Jeez. Nice. So why are you at work, huh? No, I'm on involuntary leave. Ah, fancy way to get fired, huh? No, no, away from the desk. You know, and it's good. It gives you time to spend on important things, like John's case. Like trying to wrap my head around it. Even though it's going cold, but anyway. Well, if you need a place to stay, I'm always open. If you need anything, just ask, right? In the meantime, we've got another round of beers. Still on that case, Will? Nah, nah. Um, not officially. Well, if it's any help, I'll remember some stuff from that night. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's probably not much. You probably won't even remember it. <laughs> but I went upstairs and I saw someone, some politician. I think his name was Blanco. He closed the door on me when I was in the toilet. And then I saw John. He was in his office. Maybe they were together. So Blanco was upstairs. Do you have any idea what time it was? It's all jumbled, mate. Well, I saw you sticking your head out the window that night. It was like, I think nine-ish or something. Does, does that help? I'm sure you saw that. That must have been after I went up with my shirt. You came in after me. But that could have happened any time. Not much help. Maybe you saw him do it though, and didn't tell anyone. Well, he lost the mayoral election to him, so if he did see it, it makes sense for him not to say anything.
John's in the line right now. You know. Hey, John, what's up? Coming to the party tomorrow night? She will. Well, we'll 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 we'll
I don't think her and John ended on good terms. She told you that? No. The night he... I was upstairs and I heard them arguing. I couldn't, I couldn't hear what they were saying, but I couldn't make it out. But it sounded a bit heated. Um, oh, Violet. Um, I'll leave you to it. How you doing? Don't. I should be asking you by the looks of it. Yeah, you should see the other guy. So what are you doing here, Will? I mean, I appreciate the pity visit, but that's not why you're here. I wanted to see how you were doing. You know, has Yelena been around to help? Yeah, she's been good. Keeps me updated with the town's gossip and that. Um, there is one thing. Really? I wouldn't be asking you if I didn't think it was going to help. Help what exactly? John killed himself. Let's say it as it is and move on. I still don't know why. You know, he can't be saved now, but I need to know the truth. It all doesn't add up. This town, these people, that night in the hallway, people lie. John was upstairs in his office the entire night, and so many people walked past that hallway, yet no one saw or has any information of what he did or what happened. I was with John for a little bit before all of it. Chris came up, Henry went up to go fix a vase, not to mention whoever smashed it, and he said he heard you two arguing. You know, it just doesn't feel right. He was up there for so long, alone as far as we know, at his own party. There's something more to this. It just, it feels like someone's trying to cover it up. From what I gathered that night, John went upstairs to go grab a bottle of alcohol for his friends. He's happy, and he's about to leave. But he leaves the bottle at the door and returns to his desk. What changes his mind? When the vase smashed, why didn't he go out to see what happened? Why did he stab himself painfully with a knife when he had a gun in the drawer? In this photo, there is an unopened letter. What did it say? Did that make him do it? Please, in this photo, do you recognize it? It's here, but now it's nowhere to be found. Not at the office, not at the house. Yeah, I recognize that. Hold on. <coughs> yeah, that one. So you think someone took the other letter? Henry would have told me if someone else was in that room. And you said Henry heard us arguing that night. I wasn't upstairs arguing with John. This is from Mr. Blanco. Mr. Blanco is just fine. Wait, so if you weren't upstairs arguing, who was? Because Chris told me that Marcus shut the door on him. Maybe him and John were it could have been Yelena. I sent her upstairs that night to keep an eye on Marcus. You think they had something to do with this? Marcus, I mean. Yelena, I trust. I'm so sorry, I have to go. Now you can call me any time for anything, okay? Yelena, you can't just walk- You're looking walk into John's death though, right? Yeah. On the night of John's party, you know where he... I went upstairs because I saw Marcus going up there alone. And that's so suspicious, right? So I snuck up there, right? Real sexy like cow. Anyways, I get up there and it just reeks. Oh my God. Yelena, get to the point. Okay, okay. So basically, he's like trying to close this door really quietly. So suspicious. So I go up to him and I'm like, what the hell are you doing? And he's like, rap, turns around, scares me. And I'm like, ah, backs me into this vase and just smashes and goes everywhere. So you broke the vase? Yes, but it's like not my fault. It's his fault. I was defending myself. Anyways, it's okay. 
point is right, he pulls me into this room and he threatens me. He says, if you tell anyone that you saw me up here alone. I was upstairs and I heard them arguing. So obviously, I just get out of there as quick as I can and I just run downstairs. But the moral of the story is right, he stays up there for another five minutes. So what did he do to John? Okay, so Marcus was upstairs and you broke the vase. Yep, and you can't tell anyone about this. Right. Marcus, put the gun down, now. William, it's for my own protection. I came alone. Did you? Yeah, I'm by myself. Don't try anything. Why would I? Fine. Have it your way. So why are we meeting here? I heard you've been snooping around in Jonathan's death, haven't you? Do you know something? Oh, William, there's not much that goes on in this town that I don't know about. Marcus, if you know something, you need to... Mr. Blanco. Mr. Blanco, withholding evidence from the police is an offence. If you know something, you need to tell me. I've just come to set my story straight. And besides, I heard that you're not even on the case. Officially, that is. But if you must know, I arrived on time. I mingled with a few of the guests, had myself a couple of drinks. The only way I could enjoy that night. You and I both know that I hate the man. Yeah, because you lost the election. He wasn't supposed to win. Besides, I was gathering dirt. I needed an opportunity any way that I could increase my odds. Right. You're a cheat. I'm not finished. I began looking around. I headed upstairs to see what I could find. It took me a while to figure out whose voices I heard. I know who was upstairs talking.
You! You were in my house the other night. Yeah, yeah, it was me. You took a file. Why? I was paid to. I was going to be paid to, but the fucker didn't pay up. Well, who? Who was your boss? I don't know. I don't know anything other than they wanted me to get a file from some dude's house. I didn't know it had anything to do with the mayor. I don't want part in that shit. You stole evidence from his murder. I didn't know that until after. Why would you go into somebody else's house and just take things without permission? I helped you, West Square. Will, Christ, are you right? Nathan, I've been set up. I didn't kill Marcus. Okay, I believe you, mate. I just need you to calm down. Fuck! What do I do? Where do I go? Come to mine, okay? We'll uh, come over here. We'll sort this shit out together. I don't want you getting involved. Ah, I got you, man, right? Don't worry. Okay. I'll be there soon. Be careful, alright? Uh, make sure you're not followed. Let me take your bike. What? Let me borrow it. They're not after you. You broke into my house. Fine. I'll get it back to you, don't worry. You don't even have a name to return it to, dipshit. Well? It's Ren. Well, then I'll find you later. I need to figure all this out. You know, it all started with intuition, but now I know for certain. He made John kill himself. You know, blackmail, threatened or something. Any clue who it could be? Well, whoever it was, they killed Marcus as well. You know, I, I keep going back to that hallway. Who was in the hallway? Surely they must have seen something, right? You know, whoever did it could get upstairs and downstairs without anyone realising. Must have been a guest. You know, you don't expect someone that should be there, right? You alright? You know, and then they hired somebody to steal my file, you know, throw me off the case. God, I've got to be missing something here. I just don't know who to trust. You know, people lie. Some have been honest. I still don't know why Henry's been lying this whole time. Not to mention, whoever did it knows how to use a gun. You know, experience of a rifle. It's the only way they could shoot Marcus from that distance. You know, we could be taking you anywhere. It's your choice that it has to be the station. You could just tell us where Will is. Get 
Make sure you're not followed. No, wait! Stop. Will's not there. Nathan! Oh. Oh. Give up, Will! Oh, for fuck's sakes, why do you keep pushing? Okay, John's suicide. <laughs> it was the perfect setup. But you just need to get your pig nose into everything! What the fuck, Will? You stole, you trespass. You question your fucking friends. Yeah. To die some fucking ditch alone. Easiest goddamn burial I've had to fucking do. You're gonna tell me why you did it, Nathan. You're gonna tell me why you killed him. He was your friend. I'm your friend. <laughs> friend. Friend. Sure, we went to the same school together. We served in the army together. Yeah. He took two fucking weeks and then he left for a shitty little sprained ankle. He was a pussy. Okay. He has not seen the things I've been through. Not. Not even come close. So yeah, I fucking killed him. Eye for a fucking eye. Oh, you're not a soldier. No, you're a fucking coward. Oh, I'm more of a soldier than he ever was. Okay, he stole everything from me, so I took everything from him. You know, I was planning on killing everyone in there. Just blowing up the building. But I had to see the pain in his eyes. Okay, the pain that he put me through for all those years.
Three quarters with an armor shot. <laughs> and my flat white. I could kill for a coffee right now. Will, are you alright? Yeah, I'm a bit stiff. You look like death. I feel like death. So it was Nathan then? Yeah. Wasn't really John. Looking into the case and everything. Thank you for everything. Do we know why? John was only in the army for a couple of weeks. Well, yeah, he was devastated. He d didn't have a choice. No one told Nathan that. He thought he was a coward all this time. And then when he heard that you two were getting married and about his Merrill campaign, he got jealous. He made John kill himself. He was going to kill everyone downstairs. He had a bomb. Psychopath. Where is he now? Um, I think he was taken by the police, but he was pretty beat up. No, no, don't move. Oh. Stay there. You don't need to get up yet. Um, I thought I'd tell you as well, um, you probably don't care anymore, but the letter we were talking about, it, it was from Marcus. Henry was resigning and going to work for Marcus instead of John. That's why he didn't tell us. Ah. Yeah, he would have looked way too guilty at the time. Oh, I'm actually in a lot of pain here. Oh, I'll, I'll get someone for you. Thank you. I'm afraid this is the last time we're going to be speaking, Nathan. You've been sent to Yorkshire Penitentiary, where you will stay indefinitely until your case is finalised, in which case you will serve an accurate sentence. Is there anything you wanted to say to me? Take that as a hard no. Goodbye, Nathan.
legend I confronted that man It sunk so deep in that drunken sand And his legs did quake as his mouth started to shake As he stared upon that yellow belly black snake Yellow pelly black snake 